Okay, today we're going to make some lower GI bread. There's no such thing as absolutely low GI bread because all bread's high GI. Uh, for instance, a white bread like a French stick or a baguette is so high on the glycemic index scale, it's almost the same as sugar, it's about 99. So, which means that if you eat white bread like a French stick, you body turns it into glucose as fast as if you was eating a sugar cube almost. So that's not good because uh, you spike your blood sugar and you uh, feel hungry again really soon afterwards. So what we're going to do is make some bread that's lower GI. I'm going to make a, what Sam has termed, Lembus bread, named after the famous Lord of the Rings elf bread. Because uh, it lasts and keeps you going. Right, to, do, to make it, I'm going to use a, a bread maker just to do the hard work of pounding the dough, or kneading the dough as it's called. Um, but you can do this in a bowl if you wish, and, uh, and then knead it on a, on a surface, but it's plain hard work. So if you've got a bread maker, it takes out the, uh, the slog out of it. Right, what we start with is water and uh, eggs. We've got two egg yolks and the white of one egg, and uh, I've then made up the amount of water in here up to 320 mil, right? Which is just over about 11 fluid ounces, okay? So that goes in the bucket and then we add a tablespoon of honey that's 15 millilitres of honey to you metric folks and the same amount of lemon juice I'm cheap now I'm getting it out of the bottle because uh, I haven't got any fresh lemons at the moment but fresh is best if you've got them to the fluids, we add, then add the flour. What I'm using here is wholemeal flour, wheat flour that is, and some wholemeal rye flour as well, a mixture of the two. It's about four parts wheat to one part rye. And in total there's 500 grams, half a kilo in here, which is 1.1 pounds. And then we add some salt. About two teaspoonfuls, that's 10 millilitres. And then finally, make a little dimple in the flour in the middle, and we have the yeast. Again, about 10 mil of yeast. I use this uh, fast acting dried yeast, which requires no mixing or growing or preparing. You just whack it in there and it does it straight away, which is very convenient. Right, and then we just take that and put it in the bread machine. If you were doing this in the bowl, this is now where you just mix it all together and then knead it until you can't knead it no more. Okay, while the um, bread has gone into the bread maker to get kneaded, uh, I've measured out some seeds, about 120 grams of seeds in total. I'm using a mixture of sunflower seeds, sesame seeds and pumpkin seeds. You can choose whichever seeds suit your flavour. But the seeds are one of the key ingredients to actually lowering the GI of the bread and making it more slower digesting. Very important. You can roast them a little if you want to bring out the flavour of the seeds, but they do tend to dominate the whole loaf if you do that. has kneaded the dough for half an hour and then kept it warm for the best part of an hour and it's risen and uh, what we're going to do now is kind of knocking it back which is just take it out and give it a short kneading and then I'm going to um, place it in a bread tin uh, which I've oiled Press it down into the um, bottom of the tin, like so. And then I'm going to put a piece of cling film over the top, which I've also smeared with oil. And just lightly place this on the top. You don't want it tight to stop it from rising, because that's going to be put somewhere warm now, uh, until it rises until about double, it, it doubles in size. How quickly that happens depends on how warm you keep it. But don't keep it too warm, you might kill the yeast. So here we are, after a couple of hours of leaving them somewhere warm, the 
dough has risen nicely. I'm going to put it in the oven now at 160 degrees Celsius for about 35 minutes. There we go, one loaf, nicely cooked. Right, we'll put this to one side and wait for five minutes and then we'll knock it out of the tin. If you try and knock it out of the tin straight away, it won't happen. And here we have a slice of the bread, now it's cooled down. And uh, if you look carefully, you may be able to see the, the seeds that are embedded in it. And it being quite a, a dense, smallish loaf, um, it's very, very filling. And so, and being smallish, you don't spread too much cheese or whatever it is you want to put on your sandwiches onto it. So you end up with a, a very filling sandwich that um, doesn't contain too many calories and will keep you full for a long time. Enjoy.